Hello and welcome back to our NCAA Football 2004 North Carolina Tar Heels Dynasty. Today we're taking on the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets in Georgia. This is going to be a fun one in ATL. Georgia Tech ranked 27th in the nation, 6-3 on the season. We are 3-7. It's a rough year for us here in year one of this dynasty. But we're going to try to end this season on a high note. And here is Willie Parker. Nice spin move. Breaks into the open field. And Willie Parker might be gone, and he is. Oh, my goodness. Starting off with some fireworks here today in Atlanta, Georgia. What a run from Willie Parker, the best on the season for him. This team has really struggled to get the ground game working all year long. And here's Bilbo on the option, the quarterback, all the way down the 43-yard line. Huge run, a pickup of 21. And Bilbo will try to run it again. Pitches out to Woods. And Woods has some speed. Does he have the end zone? He does. He falls forward and hits that pylon line with the ball. And we're now all tied up at seven apiece. Tar Heels looking to answer. Durant all day finally throws it out. Right side, that's Blizzard, the tight end. And he's still up. Gets up to the 42-yard line. Nice reception for the tight end. Just his seventh of the season now over 100 yards receiving the ramp to throw it i can barely hear myself speak here today and there's mitchell left side inside the 10 yard line first and goal tar heels what a throw from darian durant they're down and goal durant rolling out right side blizzard touchdown tar heels his second touchdown reception of the season I don't know if you guys noticed the last handful of videos that I posted had no commentary. I lost my voice completely and could not do the commentary. Didn't want to make you guys wait for the videos. And here is an interception by Waddell inside the 15-yard line. Tar Heels rolling here today in Atlanta. But I finally got my voice back. I'm still coughing a little bit, but at least I can speak. And I'm trying to do the commentary here for this video. And the Atlanta Falcons franchise which should be out tonight along with this video, so stay tuned for that. Tar Heels attempting a field goal. Kick is up and good from Dan Orner. I haven't said that a whole lot this season. He's got quite a few misses on the year. And here are the Yellow Jackets. That pass is dangerous, almost intercepted. My goodness, Bilbo one of six so far. Third down and long here for the Tar Heels, and Durant misses his intended target. He was wide open coming across the middle of the field. Georgia Tech has the ball now, first and ten. Bilbo left side, second completion of the day for him. And that is the first down, tack on five yards for the face mask. This crowd is going insane here today. My headphones are just vibrating uncontrollably right now. It's insane. Second down and ten, man in motion to the right side. Bilbo in the shotgun, and he will try to throw the football. Bilbo, pressure, Bilbo sacked. Tar Heels getting some pressure on the quarterback here in the first half. That's what I like to see. Third down and long, Bilbo pressured again, throws it up, deflected away at the last second. Nice play by Dexter Reed, number 24. Come and hit that ball away and hit the receiver. And the, the oh my goodness, the Yellow Jackets attempt a fake punt. And Curry shut that down before it even had a chance to get started. Huge play by the Tar Heels special teams. Great field position to start off. Now at their 30-yard line, Willie Parker in the open field inside the 20. Nice spin move and down to the 11-yard line. He is averaging 16 and a half yards per carry today. Best game of the season for him by far. Durant rolling out right side. And he's going to throw it up. Russell's wide open in the end zone for the touchdown. Grant with two touchdown tosses here today in the first half. And the Tar Heels are up big 24-7 in the second quarter. And as Bilbo finds Woods out of the backfield open and up to the 35-yard line. Yellow Jackets with 31 passing yards here today. Tar Heels with 79. Jackson carries. Jackson breaks the tackle and gets the first down for the Jackets. Just 45 yards on the ground for him or for the Yellow Jackets, excuse me. And here is uh, Ezemefe, I believe. Waddell giving chase. Ezemefe for the touchdown. Huge run. And the crowd is going insane. Tar Heels go three and out. So Georgia Tech 
has a lot of momentum here, and there is Bilbo, but he fumbles the football. It's recovered by Doug Justice. Tar Heels trying to end this season on a strong note, and they are putting up one heck of a fight here against Georgia Tech with a 10 point lead. Durant, we're gonna throw, rolling up right side. Durant throws it up, and it's picked off by Landry. And he's gonna return this up to the 34 yard line. Not a good throw from Darian Durant. Colorado State finally loses on the season. I don't know if you saw that on the bottom ticker. They lost 13 to six. That is their first loss of the year. Quick pass left side. Thomas is there all the way down inside the 30 yard line. The crowd erupts again. My goodness. I love the stadium sounds in these old games. They're just so amazing. And the Jackets find Smith over here to the left side. 15 yard pickup to the 15. Bilbo three consecutive completions now. Defense. Third down and 10 now for Bilbo and the Jackets offense. Bilbo, the throw right side, caught by Curry, but he does not get enough for the first down. So the Yellow Jackets will kick a field goal here on fourth and four. Just over two minutes left, kick is up, and it is right down the middle. We'll go back to a one score ball game, 24 17. Tar Heels still on top. Looking for a big time win here with just two weeks left in the season. The Tar Heels do go three and out, however. They've had quite a few of those in this ballgame. Bilbo over the middle finds Williams. Doug Justice was there, but just didn't get his hands up to hit that ball away. First down, Georgia Tech. They're down to 10 now. Man in motion to the right side. Bilbo to throw. Deep shot. Left side. Incomplete. Overthrew his target. Georgia Tech will punt the football away. No, they're going to go for it on 4th and 10. Less than a minute left in the half. Bilbo, the throw. And he had a man open, but overthrew him by a country mile. Tar Heels still a little bit of time left here in the second quarter. Trying to get something going. Mason, nice catch. First down, and the clock stops. They call a timeout as well. Final play of the first half. Durant. Just decides to chuck it up. Mason and Pollock are there. Pollock comes down with it at the 10 yard line. He is injured on the play as well. Huge pickup, but that'll end the first half. Tar Heels on top of the 27th ranked Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets, 24 to 17. This would be the biggest win of the season, I believe, for the Tar Heels as Roberson comes away with an interception. Oh my goodness. Their defense is just playing outstanding here today. And the offense capitalized on the great field position. Willie Parker gets inside the 20, inside the 10, breaks the tackle. Willie Parker fumbles it. And it's recovered by Wright in the end zone for a touchdown. And that was very close to being a touchback in Georgia Tech football. Willie Parker having some success today, getting into the second level, which he has struggled to do all season long. We have been just really dying to have a ground attack here in Chapel Hill. But we're finally getting it here against Georgia Tech. Jackson gets the first down here for the Yellow Jackets. As they look to make this a one-score ball game again. Third down and seven. Bilbo, pump fake, throws right side. Man, open, it's Curry. And a great catch on the sideline for Curry. And that'll move the chains again for Georgia Tech. Let's take a quick look at the replay. Great play right there. That's an NFL catch. Both feet in back. Third down and 11. Bilbo right side. And that is dropped by his intended target. I'm not sure who that was. I didn't see the name. But they're going to attempt a very long field goal. 56 yard field goal attempt. Kick is up. And that barely got to the end zone. So a nice stop for the Tar Heel defense. Their offense looks to get it going again. Durant hit as he throws, finds Blizzard, his third catch of the ball game. Best game of the season for the tight end. First down and 10. Lily Parker, right side, jukes and gets up to the 34 yard line. He's got over 150 rushing yards today. And this ground defense for Georgia Tech just has not been working as Lily Parker moves the chains once again on the ground. Five wide receivers set for Durant. He's got all day to throw it, my goodness. 
And he's going to roll around right side, finds Mitchell, and he jukes, and he's in the end zone. Oh my goodness, what a play from Mitchell. And let's give a shout out to the offensive line right there, giving Durant about 20 minutes to throw the football. And here's another nice completion out to Curry on the right sideline. Crowd trying to get back into it, but the team is down by three touchdowns. And it's second down and 13. Almost to the fourth quarter. Bilbo pitches out to Woods, and he's going to have the first down. Doug Justice did not bring him down. Woods, 967 yards this season. 14 touchdowns on the ground. And that is some pretty good stats. Bilbo, fake pitch, and he is in. What a move by the quarterback. Oh, my goodness. That was fantastic. Georgia Tech gets it back within two touchdowns. Get your fours up, folks. 38-24. Tar Heels looking to close this one out. They have one game left on the season, and that is the Duke Blue Devils. Nice rivalry game. Offense today, 199 yards on the ground for the Tar Heels. And Durant might get it over 200 yards, and he will. He takes off, dives inside the 40 for the first down. Durant to throw right side. And that's right. He'll have another first down for the Tar Heels. Four consecutive completions for Darian Durant. Six minutes left in the ballgame. Willie Parker, nice run again. Picks up about nine yards. He's got 197 yards and a touchdown. They're going to keep trying to sling it here. Right side, Mitchell. He finds the end zone again. Touchdown, Tar Heels. Four touchdown passes. Today for Darian Durant, I believe that is Mitchell's third touchdown reception. And here is Thomas with a huge reception for the Yellow Jackets. Crowd going wild again. They're still down three touchdowns, less than three minutes left. Bilbo still fighting, finds Williams, and he fumbles the football. And this is going to be recovered by Hawkins. Another takeaway for the Tar Heels defense. And that is going to do it, folks. 45-24. Huge win for head coach Harold Beecher and these North Carolina Tar Heels. This is their fifth win of the season. Or no, fourth win of the season, right? I forgot the record already. My goodness. But anyways, there's one game left in the year. I believe this might be our fourth win. I know the season's kind of dragged on. I've had a lot of health issues this season. Or this year, actually. In real life, so... I've been working on it, guys. But 45-24, huge win for the North Carolina Tar Heels. A lot of momentum going into their final game of the season, their rivalry matchup with the Duke Blue Devils, who I believe only have one victory the entire season. Durant, four touchdowns today, one pick. Outstanding performance. Willie Parker breaks out today. 216 yards, one touchdown on 23 carries. Along with 65, that was the first touchdown of the ball game. And Darrell Mitchell actually had two touchdowns today on four catches, 114 yards. Freshman standout Mason still looking for his first career touchdown reception, I believe. But we're going to try to get him that in our next ball game against the Duke Blue Devils. Two picks today for the defense, and a couple fumbles recovered by the defense as well. Dan Orn are a perfect one of one and six of six today for extra points. We are now four and seven on the year. That was our first ACC victory of the series. Huge for this series and for this team. Our next game, of course, we take on Duke. I will see you guys in that one soon, hopefully next weekend. Take it easy, guys.